Hello everybody, it's Artsworld here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my box of Haikyuu drawings. So basically, everything that's in this box is what I use to do my animations on TikTok, and today I'll be showing you guys um, what drawings I have and basically how they work. So these are the contents of the box, and as you can see, I have a lot of Hinata heads. The reason why I have so many of these is so that he can have more expressions to change into. So basically how this works is you pick the head with the expression that you want and also the clothing that you want him to wear. And then you just put the clothing on top of the neck and adjust as needed. Now what I really like about having the clothes separate from the heads is that it makes it very easy to switch out the expressions and the faces. The reason why I separate the clothes from the heads like this is because it makes it a lot easier to change out the faces and it also saves me quite a bit of drawing time. So far, I've only made two shirts for Hinata, but I don't think that I'll ever use this shirt because, in my opinion, it just looks kind of weird, and I want to remake it um, so that it has arms on it. The reason why I made it without arms is because I actually made the arms separately, and I was going to, I was going to make it so that the arms could move, but after I did it, it just looked kind of weird, so I think I'm just going to remake the shirt and then have it so it looks a bit more natural and um, another thing that or I guess another problem that I have with these is that this shirt has a v-neck and when I first made the drawings I made the heads so that they would look good in the hoodie not in this kind of a shirt so I made this head after I made this shirt so he has a wider neck but as you can see for this one he doesn't have a wide neck so when I put the head there, there's a gap, so either I'm going to need to redraw the heads or make another shirt with um, a little bit of like the neck here so that there isn't the gap. Um, but I am kind of thinking about remaking some of the heads because to me this one isn't completely symmetrical and I don't know, I feel like I could redraw some of them, but yeah. I actually don't have too much done yet for Kageyama, I just have the two heads and the jacket, and I purposely made his neck look longer so that I wouldn't run into the same problem as I did with Hinata. But other than that, the way I drew the characters is pretty much the same, I just need to make more expressions for him, which I have started on and I'll post them soon. The last character that I'll be showing, and personally my favorite character out of all of them so far, is Kenma. So far, this is all I've done for him. I just have one head and the hoodie. I do plan on making more expressions. Um, I also made the neck a lot wider just in case I made wider shirts for him. And I've already started working on some of his expressions, so that will be coming out soon. But the reason why I like this so much more than all the other ones is that I just feel like the coloring and... Gosh, I can't even separate these. The coloring and the shading just turned out a whole lot better, and this, the face symmetry is just kind of messed up on this one. And I feel like this one looks pretty symmetrical, and it looks good, and I just really like it more than all the other ones, so that's why he's my favorite. So really quick before I end the video, I just wanted to show you guys a couple more things. So these are some text boxes that I haven't used yet in my videos, but I will sometime in the future. This is my signature, which I use as a watermark in case people steal my videos and repost them. And this is a text box, so basically what I use this for is I edit text in a text editor and I put it on top of this. And usually this would be placed right there, and the hand looks kind of weird there, but it would look something like that. And I made the hands detachable because these hands are made specifically for Hinata, so they're a little bit smaller than I feel like most of the volleyball players' hands are. And then there are these things, and honestly, I completely forgot about these until I pulled them out of the box I have. These are supposed to be Hinata's eyes when he gets, like, angry or really surprised about something. So they would look something like this. Anyways, that was it for this video. If you want to see me make some animations with these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I also post a lot of art on Instagram, and I post speed drawings on TikTok and updates of what I'm working on. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!